Oh, she's so cute. Hello. Here I am again, trying to do another video. And this time, because it's Pokemon Day, I'm going to do an illustration based on my most recent obsession, which is Pokemon Let's Go. I'm going to be using my usual Bristol paper, so smooth surface, for this because I'm going to be using Copix. I'm using a Pilot Color Eno uh, Red Lead Pencil to do the sketching and I need to pull up some reference to check my outfit because I honestly did not remember it that well. And I will be drawing myself with my Pikachu whose name is Denki Chan because it obviously is a perfect name for a Pikachu. Denki means electricity. And I'm also going to be adding Husbando on the back with his Eevee, Eves. And I also got a reference from him to do this illustration so I could have everyone dressed up in their costumes. Um, as usual, I'm doing a light sketch, then I did a second pass with more details, and I'm going straight in with colors. Because I really like this um, method, I've, I've used to do line art, for, line art first and it would always smudge because I have no patience to wait for it to dry. But I really love the look of red lead, red pencil lead, and then smudge it a little bit with the topics to get a more ethereal, if you wish, uh, color and blends and shading. And then at the end, I will go in with the lineup. Now, Pokemon is a new thing for me. I've never really been super following it. I've obviously been aware of it. Um, when I was little in Argentina, you would get this kind of like pods. They were called tazos. They would come in in chips and Cheetos bags and I would collect those. There were like lenticular images where you could see the evolutions happening but I never got to watch the series that much because it was at a time when I would not be at home, I would be in school and I never had a Game Boy to play it. Um, those kind of consoles and imports were difficult to come by and well some people would buy them outside the country and bring them in but we didn't have that kind of um, chance so I never really grew up with Pokemon in the way that I grew up with Sailor Moon so a couple of years back when I had the chance to buy a Nintendo DS my husband was talking about all the Pokemon games and he got me Pokemon Sun for my birthday because the fire starter is Litten, which is a kitten, which is one of my most favorite things in the world. But when I started playing it, and that was technically my first Pokemon game ever, I could not understand it. Like, I know it's supposed to be a game for kids, but I didn't know about all the things that you had to do, you know, those things that you just know because you've been playing Pokemon for so long and you know how all the evolutions work and you know how and you know what elements um, topple the other and I didn't know all that so it was really difficult and I don't think I got past like one of the first if I made it to a gym battle and I didn't want Litten to evolve because he's so cute and I was concerned that I wouldn't find another Litten. Like, I know, that's really, really silly. But I could have get into it. So I set it aside, um, hoping to come back at it at some other point when I wouldn't be so busy with Blast and everything that I had to do. And then we finally took our Hanwon trip to Japan. Um, and when we were in Japan, everything was Pokemon. And I started seeing that round, adorable, red-cheeked face of Pikachu everywhere. And it was some kind of mind control 
I swear, where I started loving the little chubs. And it was so beautiful, it was so adorable, and I needed more of it. And we went to the Pokemon store, and it, oh my god, it's so cute. Everything was cute. But I didn't know just how obsessed I could get. Until they announced Animal Crossing. That will be coming out, and I'm like, well... I'm not going to be using my husband's Switch, because it's a game that takes... Obviously, it takes a lot of time to play. I should look into buying a Switch for myself. And then, Pokemon Let's Go was announced with the adorable Pikachu Eevee uh, version of the console. And I got it. And that was it. I was hooked. I love the game so much. And I just love how it's an easy introduction for people who have never played Pokemon. So it was perfect for me. Have you gotten one? Did you get Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu? Or do you get Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? Are you also interested in the new announcement for the new generation that happened today? It looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm obviously going to be picking it up. I haven't made up my mind who's gonna be the starter yet. But I think I'm really liking the bunny. Although... The shy water boy is absolutely adorable as well. Anyway, back to the illustration. Now that I've done all the colored areas, I'm going to start outlining with a Copic Multiliner and sometimes using a Sakura Micron one for some other colors that I don't have in Copic ones. Um, this is a pretty straightforward process. I've just done kind of like second passes on all the liner because this is a very faint color. But other than that, it's just outlining away and fixing some little things here and there. I've always used black outlines for my illustrations, but this year I've switched a little bit to softer colors because I think it really brings in a softer look for them, which is obviously something that really matches up with my aesthetic. I've also included a little Nintendo Switch on the side to pull it all together with the theme. I've added her backpack, which I actually kind of wanted it in real life. And now I'll just be going over all the little areas to see if I missed anything. It was a little bit difficult to do the line art for this illustration because the marker, the multi-liner was so soft, which is a good thing for other type of illustration, but it's not what I was looking for in this one. So I had to go over, give it a couple passes to get the right color. So maybe I should have used a different one, but it worked out in the end. My husband's Eves has glasses, so I gotta sketch that in quickly because I kind of forgot. And then I'll be using a Sakura Micron to outline that. Erase some extra pencil details that I had on the side, and I'm going to be adding, adding the final details. Um, some stars, hearts, to mimic the reactions when you do some play with them, as it happens in the game. And then I'll be using a neon yellow highlighter to do an outline around the characters. I really like that sticker look that it gives it. And then some white highlights, some glitter to add some sparkle, and that's pretty much it. So tell me, do you pick up Let's Go Eevee or do you pick up Let's Go Pikachu? Are you still looking into it and you're not convinced yet? 
or you picked it up the day that it came out. I never thought I would like Pokemon this much, but I'm really glad I got into it because it's so much fun, it's absolutely adorable, and you know what? Even in Japan they say Otonamo Pokemon, which is Pokemon is also for adults. Pokemon is for everyone, and I truly believe that cute is also for everyone. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!